Okay, I'm going to get started here. Um, my name is Kimberly Morris. Uh, I'm also known as the Procrast Stamper. Sorry, I've got cat hair flying around here. <laughs> um, and I am going to talk to you today about the He's the Man Sweet Collection in the uh, upcoming catalog. So, um, this Sweet Collection includes um, the He's All That stamp set, the um, uh, He's... Uh, not he's all that, but the all that dies. Um, then the he's the man specialty designer series paper. And the reason that it's specialty, um, I'll show you two of the sheets in there are die cuts. And then also these rustic metallic adhesive backed dots. So I'll show you the actual um, product and um, tell you a little bit more about it. So let me, I guess I'll leave this here. Well, maybe I'll move this for just one second. Um, so I've already, um, started pulling out my papers. Um, I've got them behind me here, so let me grab them. So the paper is 12 by 12. Um, it is double-sided for five of the designs. One of the designs, um, is a die cut. So you still get the 12 sheets. There's two each of these patterns. So this is like my favorite pattern. I really like this. This green is soft succulent. It's really nice. Um, let me see if I can pull this down here. I want to make sure this is in here. I'm not sure it's all in the picture. Let me see. All right, that should do it, I hope. Um, so it's got this little camper and it's got this little um, van, uh, which is actually on one of the stamps there. Um, and then if you flip that over, you've got this really pretty, um, I'm not good with like names of uh, patterns and materials and stuff, but it's this just really pretty kind of textile design. And then we've got uh, the next page has a textile design on it, um, on actually kind of like both sides, right? Um, so this one's got some old cars, the little a uh, bug, a motorcycle, and then it's got another textile on the back. Um, this one's got some uh, dress shoes, glasses, a little mustache in there, the little bow tie, the, um, what do you call that, the long tie, regular tie, um, shirt tie, have no idea. Um, and then just some little arrows and different things on there as well. On the back of that is another design. That one's a little bit maybe harder to see because this lighter um, is pretty, the early espresso is, you know, kind of dark. And then it's got this lighter just kind of stitching going back and forth in a grid on the back of that. This one is, um, you know, all the barbecue stuff. You've got your baster, your smoker, your little piggy. There's some flames here, some utensils, spatula. Uh, a little bottle of barbecue sauce. Um, so that's your sort of grill themed one. And on the back of that is this really pretty um, Cajun craze is this color. Um, and it's uh, it's just got that darker stripe over the textured sort of Cajun craze color. And then we get to the piece de resistance or pieces, pieces <laughs> um, since there's multiple. So these are all die cuts. Um, and, uh, my favorite one is this, you get two sheets of the die cuts. So what I have done today is I have, um, started to make cards with all of these. So I'm going to go back a little bit to, um, the product and, uh, show you some, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Coordinating products, because you'll see there's some things in here, um, like you make me hoppy, you know, it's a glass of beer there. And then there's a couple of um, mugs of beer there. Um, so we don't have things that um, coordinate necessarily with those in this suite, but there are other sets if you wanted to get those too. But the cards that I've made, I'm only using the suite. So um, these other coordinating products are just kind of icing on the cake if you decide that you want to get them. So um, one of the things that is um, uh, really cool is that the all that dies will cut out some of these uh, stamps that are in the stamp set. So we've got, um, you know, the 
uh, where is it? Happy birthday to a classic, right? And we've got that really kind of cool one there. Um, and then this one is uh, to the man who does everything. It's just a little rectangle with rounded corners, but it does have some like little, um, there's like a little embossed uh, edge all around it. So it comes out looking really nice. Um, the uh, circle with the little um, scalloped sort of kind of edges will fit with that one and that one. We've got an oval that works for this one right here. And again, they have like little, um, all these little frames have kind of edging around the die. So it looks, it just embosses kind of around it and just gives it an extra nice little look. Sorry, I keep thinking I've got all the cat hair gone and it keeps showing back up. Um, and then uh, the dies also include these cool little pieces. There's two of them here, so you can um, run two of them through your uh, stamp and cut and emboss at a time. But these are like little argyle um, pieces. So those will cut out little argyle pieces. Oh, and then I, I didn't mention this one. Um, there's like a little sort of arrow and that will um, trim out that little stamp right there. Um, there's also like little banners um, and then little curvy banners. Sorry, I gotta get this stuck onto here so it'll stay. Um, so that you can make uh, something, you know, like is shown on this sample here where you've got the die cut and then you've got little pieces of cardstock coming out. Underneath that, you can see the little, um, little argyle kind of pieces. So that's pretty cool. Um, the other ones that I wanted to mention, the other items that I feel like will go with this uh, really well. Um, the first one that I wanted to talk about, you may miss it if you're not looking really closely. Um, so this is um, these shapes here with like the, the mustache and beard, the guitar, and this little landscape scene. Those are the rugged icons dies. So those are gonna go really well um, with that. Uh, also, the um, because none of the um, designer series paper really has the tools, but there's like several of the die cuts. That little van wants to go run away. Um, there's several of the little die cuts that you know, you know, are tools or kind of have some tools in there. Um, this vintage tools stamp set would go really great. Um, also, the uh, brood for you bundle. I didn't get that one. I probably should have. It's one of those things that's like, do I want it? Do I want it? And I didn't get it And um, on the, my pre-order, and I, I think it would have been really great um, because we do have those die cuts in there that, um, you know, have like the, the glass of um, beer and the mug. So that would go really um, fantastic as well. And then I think there's others in this section. Just going through here, you can probably see uh, the Campology stamp set. I think that would work really well, especially with that, um, uh, you know, this paper here. You know, you've got the little tent and everything, so that would go really well with that. I think that same, um, you know, kind of camping paper you could probably use for this Wildlife Wonder set. And it has, you know, to a great guy, a note of thanks. You mean so much to me. You know, for all the great things you do, that would work like really well um, with that paper. Um, and even if you didn't use the animals, the greetings would work really super great. Um, the whiskey business, even though there's like no pictures of whiskey or anything on there, you know, we've got the um, the beer. So um, that would probably um, work really well for, for that. Um, and like I said, I mentioned the vintage tools. There's also, um, where did it go? I think I passed it. Um, there is on page 85, this stamp set here that says Adventurous Journey. I think, um, that might work really well with, uh, also with this paper. It's, I mean, it's almost a shame that we can't get like a, uh, a whole package just of this design because <laughs> I really love it. But, um, those would all work well. So there's a lot of different things that you could use in conjunction with, um, with this set. And then one, uh, more page really quick that I wanted to go to was that Rugged Icons. Um, I think it's 174, uh, where you can see the, um, 
the die cuts in the back. So you can see there's more than just what I showed you on those sample cards. There's the beard with the mustache. Let me hold this up a little higher, maybe that'll help. Um, there's the guitar. There's also this drill, um, a fishing rod with a little fish, and then there's that, uh, that uh, kind of scene, um, a little mountain scene sort of thing that, that you see there. So I can't wait to get that because I think that'll just you know kind of tie in a whole bunch of stuff really great. So at this point, what I wanna do is um, talk to you a little bit about the stamp set. Um, it is a cling stamp set. That means that it's red rubber. So um, I have a habit of cutting up my stamps, especially when they are, um, when I can see something that I want to, that I'll want to stamp separately because I don't like trying to like take the time to do the omitting, um, you know, with coloring in the stamp with markers, but, you know, only coloring in certain spots. Um, I'm just kind of like a, you know, slap it down, you know, do it quickly type of person. So um, where I can, a lot of times where I can see something that I want to use separately, I will cut the stamps apart. Now I've already gone through um, my stamps and um, I have some rubber cutting scissors that I like to cut away the extra rubber so that when I stamp, uh, when I ink up and I tap my ink pad, it doesn't catch the corners of, you know, the excess uh, red rubber. Um, but this one is the um, one that says, Hello Handsome. Um, I really, I don't, uh, I'm not married. I don't have a boyfriend. Um, <laughs> some people <laughs> were saying yesterday, uh, they were talking on, I guess Netflix has a, uh, um, a new game show. Uh, called BS. Uh, I'll just say that. <laughs> and uh, someone was just saying that they were like, so, so single. It was just kind of funny. But um, anyway, uh, I don't necessarily have people that I want to use the hello handsome saying, but the hello I really like. So what I'm going to do is just show you how I snip those apart. Um, and I think that uh, Stephanie showed you um, how this works. Um, so I've, I've got the backing on there still. Um, you want to take some really sharp scissors and you, first of all, you want to do this on stamps where you can see that there's some space there, right? If you can get your scissors in there, um, you know, easily, then you should be fine. And you want to make sure that you're cutting straight up and down, especially, um, on the, uh, red rubber stamp sets but you know, on the photopolymer as well, so that you're not undercutting, which means that the uh, top, the ends of my paper snips are not really sharp. I really should have grabbed another, uh, a newer pair. Um, mine got kind of bent or something, but um, you don't want it undercut, meaning that there's no foam or anything underneath it that's really supporting the, uh, the image when it gets stamped. So I'm gonna cut down between here. And, um, you know, sometimes with sets like this, um, you know, I kind of screwed it up a little bit um, on one of them. And I might buy one set to start with um, and then decide that I want to buy a second set that I don't cut at all. So it's totally up to you how you like to handle that. So you can see now that it says hello here. And then it's got handsome here. I'm going to cut this little tiny... Sometimes you can't get in there really well while it's together. So I'm gonna cut this. There's like kind of just a little bitty bitty ridge here and I wanna make sure that that doesn't catch ink. So I just kind of snipped that away and you can see it will go back together like um, really easily. You can see where you cut it apart. So you can line that back up if you wanted to use that together. Now the way that I do that with uh, the index stickers, um, I will actually just put one part at a time on there because I want to make sure that I've got, you know, that I can line this up as, as best I can, but um, I'm going to be cutting through the uh, sticker after I put this on and I want to make sure that, you know, where my stamp is cut, I've got room to go back through with my snips and cut the index sticker um, 
so that I can have that part of the stamp cut away as well. So that's gonna be like right up to the edge there. Let me just pop that up a little bit with my finger. So what I kind of try to do is line up the rubber and I have it kind of tipped up a little bit so it's not touching the sticker yet. Um, so I'll try and kind of line up the rubber. Oops. Uh, I guess that's where you say the rubber hits the road, right? Just hit the sticker. Um, but if I can carefully do this, doggone it doesn't want to cooperate with me right now, um, then I can line this up with where I have cut it, line up the edges of the sticker down here, and hopefully we should be pretty good once we're, yeah, there we go. So you can see kind of where the, the cut is, and you can see that I can cut the sticker um, right through there and it shouldn't uh, cut the image. So I'm just gonna take my, my paper snips, which like I said, are a little bit dull at the tip. I need to bring a new pair in here. I have a few new pairs, but they're just not in here right now. So then we've got that, which will go together if you want to have that um, on a block then you just kind of press it together and pick it up with your block and then you can stamp the whole thing together. Or you can take off the handsome part and just stamp the hello part. So, you take off, I got just a little bit of the sticker for the H up there. But that's how um, I deal with mine. Um, when I know I want to use something um, you know, like I said, I'm not gonna, I can't just, I, off the top of my head, I just can't even think of like a time right now when I would probably use the handsome part. So, um, and I could, um, if I felt like it, probably cut away that mustache. Um, I think I lined it up pretty good with the sticker underneath to where I could uh, cut in there with the snips and then even use the little mustache separately if I wanted to, but I'm not gonna worry about that right this second because I'm not going to use this stamp right now. So that's just an idea for you. All right, um, and then the next thing that I wanted to show you, um, my actual projects, what I wanted to do was show you how you can use just the um, Sweet Collection. Let me bring these back over here really quick for you. And um, that's gonna include your stamp set and uh, the paper, the, um, which includes the die cuts and um, the little rustic uh, embellishments. It's gonna include um, the bundle with the stamp set um, and dies. I think I said that, but I can't remember. Um, so all I wanted to do was Try and make some cards just with the die cuts and the, the paper. Um, and all I'm adding is some, uh, if I can find where I set my card. <laughs> so all I'm adding is some crumb cake card stock and, <clears throat> excuse me, and the early espresso ink pad. So I just kind of wanted to walk you through my process a little bit. I punched all these die cuts out um, and I laid them out uh, on my workspace. Um, and what I like to do is uh, have like an extra sheet, like a, a, a card, you know, that I'm not going to use. I use this sometimes to like, you know, stamp things off and see like how many times do I want to stamp this off? Is that too dark? Is that light enough? Um, so this works kind of as a, as a scrap for testing that. Um, but also I can use this to sort of lay things out and arrange them. So what my process was, was I had this... Um, why are you not laying flat? It doesn't want to lay flat. Um, we will make you lay flat. So I would have like a card here and then um, I just kind of gathered up some uh, some different ones. I'm trying to find a, real, a good one. Um, and then put the ones that I thought worked well together for a card in, in an envelope. So I'm gonna dump these pieces out and what I had done to kind of see how they would work together was just sort of laid them out. There's this little, these little antlers or whatever. 
and um, so I thought, okay, that would be kind of a, a decent layout. So I put all those together uh, in the envelope. And so I have all these envelopes um, left still to go through. Let me put these back in here. Um, and I've made eight cards so far. So I'm gonna show you those really quickly. I just wanted to mention kind of what my process is with those, um, how I came up with those. So I have um, 15 cards, you know, all the supplies for 15 cards, but I think I've just made eight. So you can see um, with this one, I uh, use some of the die cuts, some of the rustic, um, and then this is another stamp that I did some surgery on because um, I wanted to just say to the man because it's got like the little hammers on there. So I wanted something that I could stamp in the background. Um, so again, that's where I used my scratch piece of um, cardstock to see, you know, like how many times do I want to stamp it off to make it light enough um, to where it works for me. So I stamped that in there and then it gave me um, something little that I could stamp uh, on the inside. This die cut um, was right almost the same size as uh, this um, frame, this little tag on the dies in the die set. So um, it actually had some, oops, some lines around it. So I um, I did trim that by hand just so I would have a little bit more of a white border, but there's not really very much, you know, cutting or trimming for this at all. Let me just put that back there. These are adhesive back, so that's quite nice. Um, and then this, I didn't use any cardstock. Um, I stamped the um, Love This Guy. And what I did, um, for that is because all of my uh, designer series paper is cut to three by four, I know it's going to overlap. So I actually took a piece that I knew I would, you know, probably overlap with something else. So um, I took the space, took the die cut out of the space that I could cover, right? If that makes sense. So um, this lighter, uh, design in here that has it's on the back of the cars is a really great one just for stamping little things like that so again I didn't necessarily think I would use the love this guy um, but that's not one I can really cut because it's a solid uh, you know that arrow in the background is solid and you're gonna see a line even if it's a little cut line you know you're still gonna see that so um, I stamped that on a separate piece of paper and then um, put the what do you call? Stampin' Dimensionals. Um, this is a really great place to use those edges. You know, you can cut like just a really thin um, piece off the edge of the uh, Stampin' Dimensionals. I think Stephanie was mentioning that in um, her video as well. So there's that card. This one I really like. You can see the um, kind of the barbecue stuff and that was really fun. Did I die cut the... Um, those things, I just stamped the Holy Smokes, you're amazing for that one. Um, this one, again, you can see it's just the three by four. I stamped the number one, um, you know, stamped it off several times and there's another die cut. With this one, I took the die cut and just put the edges of it in the ink pad. Um, but again, I'm, I'm still just only using this one early espresso ink pad. Um, and then you can stamp the number one on there and in there. Um, we've got your flippin' awesome with these cool little things. Now these are, this is still three by four. This right here is a three by four piece of designer series paper that I just cut exactly in half. So it's like, what, two by three, I think? Is that right? Or one and a half by four, I can't remember. Um, so there's that. And then of course the holy smokes, you're amazing again on the inside. This one I really like. There's this little kind of piece of, oops, kind of piece of notebook paper in there. Um, it's not quite like square. So I always look at this and I'm like, oh, it's a little crooked, but eh, it's okay. Um, so I did that. Um, I did surgery on the one with the little van because I knew I wanted to use the van separately. So that was quite a trick cutting into that um, to get that separate. But then I can do the little van. Um, on the envelope as well, so I really wanted to do that. Um, this one is 
with the cars and everything. And you can see I did one of the die cuts there. This is a stamp that's in the uh, stamp set. I think there's actually a couple of those in the die cuts as well. Um, and then I took the car out of the middle of the happy birthday to a classic so that I could have the car uh, to stamp on there and to stamp on the inside of this card. So more stamp surgery. And then this is probably my favorite one um, just because I love this little van. So I did a die cut here out of the designer series paper, a die cut here out of the designer series paper. There's two pieces of uh, three by four designer series paper. This is a die cut, this is a die cut. And I stamped this um, every day with you as another adventure because it's got the compass. I really probably, you know, it, it might have been kind of cool to be able to cut the words um, away from the outside of that and just have the compass. But I was like, I just didn't wanna mess with it. <laughs> so, um, but yeah. So that's another thing that you could do on your stamp surgery if you wanted to. I just got kind of tired. And then um, put the little van inside there and the little compass on the outside there. So those are the ones that I have already. Um, and I wanna walk through putting one together with you kind of um, from scratch. So what I did was um, these were three pieces that I thought would work together. So I'm gonna set my envelope aside for now. Um, and then I knew I wanted to um, stamp around this. So I decided I was gonna use this, um, even though there's cars on the back of there. A lot of the pieces that I've used are the same sheet of um, designer series paper. And I just use, you know, one side showing for, you know, one layer and then the other side showing for the other layer. This is one of the few that I um, just picked separate papers to use. Um, but I knew I wanted to stamp around there, um, so I figured I could do something like that, um, and that would work well. So let me grab my card. I don't know where it went to. Um, and then I guess I can go ahead and show you this really quick. Uh, if you get tired of making your cards, um, like kind of all going one direction. You might have seen that I changed mine, the direction of mine a little bit. I did have a card that was already cut, but it got buried in the preparation here. So what I wanted to show you is, you know, you can either make your card, um, you know, opening this direction with a fold on the side, or um, you can cut your paper to where the fold is on the side, but it's this uh, kind of landscape and have your card go that way. So it just depends on how, however you wanna do it. But um, that's just a, one of those things that, um, you know, if you get tired of your cards just all looking one way, it's just, some, it's just a way that you can kind of change things up. So I'm gonna go ahead. Um, a nice tip when you are cutting your card bases is to score the whole sheet of cardstock um, where you're gonna want your cards scored. So I scored that at five and a half and then I'm gonna cut at four and a quarter. If you wanted a card that looked a, um, a different way, like the traditional you know, side fold that's the portrait, then you would score at four and a quarter and cut at five and a half. So it's just the opposite. Um, and this is with our letter sized cardstock in the US. What I generally do after I cut my cardstock, um, you're gonna wanna fold towards the bump here, right? So fold towards the bump. Um, and I try and see if there's one side that overlaps the other side. If there's a side that overlaps the other side, um, the one that's longer is gonna be on the front. And then I like to score my cards, um, well, burnish them, I guess, they're already scored. I like to burnish them on the back because sometimes the um, the bone folder kind of makes, uh, it mashes down sort of the, the card texture, so it makes it kind of um, sort of shiny almost. So I like to do that on the back so it doesn't like distract from anything on the front. Okay, so I'm figuring out, you know, how am I gonna want this laid out? Like I said, I decided I was gonna stamp around um, this. So I wanted a light color here. So I wanna have the darker color over here. Now, um, the cool thing that um, 
happens when you trim apart your stamps. This is the happy birthday that goes over the top of happy birthday. So I cut away the happy birthday, I cut away the car separate, and then I cut to a classic. Um, so you can take these, the photopolymer stamps work, you know, a whole lot better, but you can sort of um, manipulate these to where uh, they're going to sort of make an, an, uh, an arc or you can straighten them out. So I straightened this one out just a little bit and I'm going to take my my ink pad. That's an, one of the old older ink pads. I want to kind of hold this still here for a second. So I'm just going to do a tiny little dot of my stamp and seal to hold it in place. And then I'm going to stamp happy birthday. And I'm just going to see, you know, like, is this the right uh, angle? Is this how I want it? You know, like before I, let me turn this over because... It's easier for me to kind of line this up this way, um, you know, so I can kind of get my spacing and see if this is going to work for me. I think it needs to be maybe stretched out a little more so it's not like quite so, um, what's the word I'm looking for? So it doesn't like, um, it's not at quite an angle. So let me see if I can pull this a little bit straighter. So I'm just gonna kind of pull up on this. See if I can get that angle that I want. And you can see it's kind of scrunched on that side, but it's only temporary, it's not gonna hurt it. So. That's probably getting there. Let me try and so you can see how you know, kind of having a scratch piece of um, cardstock can help you see if you're getting the look that you want. I'm gonna say that's probably gonna be about right. Let me just slide this up a little bit so I can <clears throat> try that again. Yeah, we'll say that's about right. Because then I can go here and here, here, here. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Clean that off. Maybe just a teensy bit less angle to it. Okay. So we should be good to go on my actual card now. So what I wanna do is, um, I know this is gonna be right about here. Again, I'm gonna to want to um, just take a little piece of, you know, this stamp and seal and sort of hold it in place. Um, and if it's not perfect, I, I'm just gonna not have to care, right? Um, but I know this, uh, this designer series paper is light enough to where this should show up pretty good. So um, what I figured worked for me, and I think I will, uh, let's see, I wasn't sure if I wanted to put happy birthday lined up straight with it. Um, I think I will. So I'll call that the top. And then I'll call that the bottom. And then I can fit another couple in here going around. And I'll do that one. And I'll do that one. So that's not terrible. It doesn't look too flowery, right? Okay, so let me set that aside, clean it off because I'll probably get ink everywhere if I don't. Oops, sorry, that probably was loud. All right, we'll close this. Well, actually, I don't want to close that quite yet um, because I also want to do the background of this card. Um, and I was thinking I would just go ahead and do the happy birthday there too, even though it's kind of at a little bit of an angle. Um, that's okay, I'll just sort of do it around. Um, even though some of these are not going to be seen, I kind of like to start in the middle of the card um, just to sort of 
kind of get some spacing. And you can see I'm doing this kind of fast, and so I'm not quite getting the whole word on there. But that's sort of in the center of it, so it doesn't really matter. Oops, let me clean that off before I make something really ugly. Um, so I'll just keep doing this. <clears throat> Excuse me, my stomach just growled really loud. It was not a cat, that was me. It looks like little um, like sets of eyelashes or something, right? So you want to focus on kind of the corners where you know it's going to be seen a little bit more, uh, getting it to stamp real well. Um, and it just depends. Uh, this one I didn't stamp off uh, at all to make it lighter just because I feel like it's sort of a small, um, you know, the words are kind of small. So I, I'm hoping they're not going to detract too much from the design. So we'll put this back up here again and take a peek at that. And that should work. You can see kind of the happy birthday around there. So that's cool. Um, and then all I'm going to do is put some adhesive on here. Um, before I put away my happy birthday stamp for good, um, I probably want to stamp the inside of this card as well, just down in the corner. So I'll do that. And another reason that I really like the, the craft, I was going to mention that the uh, coordinated colors that are listed for um, the designer series paper, that he's all that designer series paper, um, they don't include crumb cake, but um, crumb cake just works with everything. And I really like crumb cake um, a little bit better than Sahara Sand, uh, which would be a great neutral to use also. But I like the crumb cake because it does have this little bit of texture to it where the Sahara Sand is just um, really just the flat color like the rest of our um, colors. So let me grab the envelope that I set aside and I will... Put that on the flap. Um, now, if you are going to mail these, um, it's okay to stamp, you know, on the back on the flap. Um, you want to try not to stamp down here because lots of times that's, you know, where they will put a barcode. Um, they'll print that on there to help facilitate the machining um, uh, of the cards through the mail. So I try and put it like maybe like next to where I would address it. So I'll put that there. I think that might be all the stamping we have to do. I keep opening and closing this ink pad. Um, so that's done. Um, and so all we have to do is adhere all of these on here. Now, like I said, I'd put this on here with just a little bit of the um, stamp and seal just to hold it in place while I was doing that. But um, I will use some Stampin' Dimensionals, you can use the mini ones. Um, the big ones, I have a bunch of like old ones, so I'm just gonna like, you might be like, oh no, you don't need to use that mini, what a waste. But that's what I'm doing. I, I do that when I'm in a hurry. I just grab them and slap them on there. So this one's gonna go here, I think kind of at an angle. And then we'll put this on the card and this on the card. So I'm gonna kind of see how much room I want on the edge, sort of. And if you want to, what you can do when you have like a piece where you want it, um, you can do this with your uh, liquid glue or with the um, stamp and seal. Just put a little line of um, adhesive where you want it and then you can kind of pick it up and um, adhere the other little bits. Let's see, make sure this is sort of straight at least if I can. Sometimes it's hard to tell when you're um, when you're doing the video because you, you you generally stick your head like way over things, so it's hard sometimes to line them up on the video. Let's see if I can kind of try and get this about the same. Okay, and then I just wanted to do the hooray, and. That guy will get a couple of Stampin' Dimensionals also. Um, and then the other thing that, um, I think I'll leave this one flat. The other thing that 
I wanted to do was add a few of those rustic uh, adhesive backed uh, little metallic guys on here. So I'll do this like that. And then this guy will just kind of go on flat just to sort of point. Okay, so there's our card. Um, I'm gonna pull this off because I hate it when there's ink on there. I know it's like, Wah. but um, I'll use that later. So we've got our envelope, our card. Last little bit is just putting these little doubles on here. So you can take your uh, take your pick tool, um, your paper snips if you can find where you just set them down, which I there they are, with my lovely little World Card Making Day tag that uh, Stephanie made. That was very sweet. Okay, so I decided um, that for this one, uh, I would put the these little things over here. But you know what? I, I don't know. It seems like it if they. I was thinking of putting them down below, but I think they'll work better up at the top. So there's two sizes of these, so I'm going to use the littler ones because it's kind of a littler space we're working with. Yeah, come here, you. My goodness. Of course, because I'm filming, this is going nuts. So I'll do that there. And then one more. I'll do that one. There. Okay. I mean, you could put more down here if you want, but I just wanted kind of a little highlight on there. Um, I mean, another place might be fun to just put one right there um, if you don't want to use that many. Um, but you get, oh, I can't remember how many there are in here. Uh, how many are there? 90. There are 90 in here. So um, I managed to make, like I said, um, pull apart the, um, the, the dies and set aside supplies to make 15 cards just from one sheet of the die cuts. So if I made two of each, since there's two sheets of die cuts, um, two of each design, then I would have 30 cards that's just from the... Uh, the die cuts um, and the designer series paper. So again, the only thing extra that you would need to add if you purchase this sweet collection is uh, a package of crumb cake cardstock. These are very vanilla envelopes. Um, I like for when, when I'm using them with the neutrals and stuff, I think very vanilla works very nicely. Um, so I think that's it. Let me look at my notes. Um, I did mention, uh, uh, wanted to make sure I mentioned all my tips. I did mention about keeping a scrap card around to stamp on for and use for arrangement. Um, the other tip was just cutting your all of your designer series paper pieces into three by four pieces so that you can use the whole sheet and not have you know like leftovers. Um, and then die cutting from like underneath where you know they're going to overlap in order to save paper. Um, and then uh, I think that's about it. Uh, there was one more thing that I wanted to mention. It just went in my brain and then went right back out. Um, I guess that's that's probably it. Yeah. So, um, oh, I know what it was. Um, I believe that if you use both sheets of the die cuts and um, do the designs that I have done, that you can actually, I mean, I know if you just use one sheet, like if you wanted to get together with someone and, and um, you know, uh, purchase this together, you could split the designer series paper and um, you could split that in half and you would um, have your plenty of designer series paper for like the 15 cards that I was mentioning. Um, and then there's also still plenty of designer series paper uh, left. So you can still do tons more with it. So um, I just want to thank Stephanie for letting me um, blather on. I'm probably gone quite a bit long on here. Um, I tend to always do that, but uh, I will have my uh, host code for May if you're in the U.S. and you don't have a demonstrator that you're ordering with. Um, I will have that in the description of the YouTube video. 
Um, Stephanie also has it in the um, catalog launch event uh, listed. Uh, everyone's host codes there together. And um, I just want to definitely thank her for waiting on me. I'm always so late. Um, but I hope that this was really helpful for you to see like how you can use these items um, especially like maybe if you're like me and you don't have a guy in your life that, um, you would necessarily send, uh, you know, like a father's day or a hello handsome card to, um, but they're still really great for masculine cards. So I hope you're enjoying the rest of the catalog launch and I hope you will consider this fabulous sweet collection to, uh, add to your stamp and supplies. Um, you guys have a great night and, Happy stamping.